VPNs are often regarded as a very effective tool for unblocking content online, especially geoblocks of streaming platforms. Ain't it ironic that they themselves are prone to getting detected and blocked even before they can fulfill their purpose. But yeah, if we're aiming to break the limits, nothing should really restrict us. So here goes a tutorial on how to bypass VPN blocks. Michael here, straight from cybernews.com, ready to explain to you why VPNs are getting blocked and provide you with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to bypass those blocks. And in the end, I'll give you the list of the best VPNs for bypassing blocks. Now here's a little tidbit. VPNs are a real pain in the ass for copyright holders. But that's not the only reason you may be asking why are VPNs blocked? There's plenty of legal and political reasons to prohibit a tool allowing you to get fully anonymous. Never mind the fact that VPNs can be used for scams and fraud. So it just makes sense to be vigilant. You can also have your VPN blocked in school because school administration wants to limit access to certain websites. And a VPN blocked at work often too for similar reasons. Unfortunately, in attempts to block malicious individuals or avid Netflix watchers, anti-VPN forces often restrict common users who need a VPN to stay secure online and broaden their possibilities. Ironically, the best way to bypass a VPN block is, in fact, a VPN. Since VPN providers are well aware of the ways used to block their services, the best VPNs out there already have the means to counter that. Reliable VPNs like that often come at a price. So to lessen your burden, I have an offer of some exclusive VPN discounts. Check the link in the description. Okay, first things first, what types of VPN blocks are out there? The most common one is IP blocking. This method straight up blocks IP addresses associated with a VPN. Another common blocking technique is domain blocking. It ensures you won't be able to access the VPN provider's website, and so the app won't connect since it can't reach the service's API. VPN providers combat this by having multiple mirrors of their web page and suggesting manual VPN connections. Deep packet inspection allows to detect and ban a VPN connection. Port blocking refuses any connection passing through specific ports, often targeting ports used by VPN providers. Think of it as locking a door just before you enter. Finally, QoS or quality of service filtering can detect a VPN, and that info will be used to enact a block. So can VPN bypass an IP ban? That depends solely on having a lot of servers that allow you to use a pool of many IP addresses. It's very unlikely that all or even a majority of them will be manually banned. So you need a VPN with a big server pool. Deep packet inspection and QoS filtering rely heavily on identifying a VPN connection. If you use obfuscated servers or stealth protocols, you can make your VPN undetectable. That's why choosing a VPN with a good amount of features can really help in this case like for example, NordVPN or Surfshark. You also need a VPN with stealth measures. That's how VPNs bypass firewalls and other VPN censorship methods. Finally, there's no simple way of dealing with port blocking other than switching an access port. That won't be an automatic process though, but most VPNs can do that. You can also try to switch between protocols being used, since VPNs often use different ports for different protocols. So. That could be a solution. Okay, which VPNs can actually satisfy these conditions? I could name at least four. NordVPN, Surfshark, IPVanish, and PureVPN are the best VPNs for bypassing blocks. They have enough servers to safely bypass the server requirement. The manual IP block won't be a problem. They also have advanced stealth measures, ranging from specialized stealth protocols to obfuscated servers. Finally, each can be configured to use ports that are rarely blocked, can't be blocked at all, or the VPN connection can be masked as a HTTPS traffic and bypass without raising any suspicion. But most importantly, these VPNs get really cheap if you aim for the long duration subscription. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more reviews and tutorials. So there's plenty of ways to block VPNs, but no need to consider abandoning VPNs as an idea. There's also plenty of ways to bypass those blocks. VPNs are constantly evolving 
and high quality service providers like NordVPN will always find a way to bypass those blocks. Now you know which VPN bypass deep packet inspection and other blocking types the best, so you should be fine. People, people, people. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And while you're at it, tell us if you've ever encountered a VPN block in the course of your VPN use. See you next time.